A child in the day. I'm Kobam Zasukwa. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer. I'm the last of five children, five surviving children. I grew up in the military cantonment in the military barracks. Uh, in the not so great side of the military barracks, to be precise. I attended the Chelly School for the Blind and Partially Sighted Children. Great school. I got a lot, I learned a lot about mobility and orientation. Um, that just sort of equipped me for um, normal life or life in a normal space. And then um, I proceeded to King's College, Lagos. I'm very proud of that. Um, I think it had a lot to do in just sort of reforming me and, you know, building my gentleman pers personality or persona, if you will. And then I had a stint with the University of Lagos for about three years um, as a law student. And then I opted out to do music. I figured I had to make a, a, take a, a very drastic step. So I decided I was going to opt out of law. I had, prior to this time, not opted out of anything in my life, you know. I'd, but I, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do this. And so I took a chance. and. Um, stepped out of law and decided to pursue music full time. My experience has, has been interesting. My experience, interesting, I know it's a very blanket word to use, but that's exactly what it's been. So first of all, you know, I got into music needing to prove myself, needing to prove that I was everything I said I was. You know, as a young producer, you know, I was making music for people from when I was like 16 or so, but then um, more professionally from when I was about 21, uh, and 21, 22 there about, yes. And, Occasionally you meet people who take a chance on you, you know, like I, I will forever be grateful for people like Big Bamo who, you know, decided to take a chance with me making music for Maintain. That was just, that was different. That was phenomenal. I believe and I've said several times that um, the ultimate source of inspiration for everyone, you know, we, we can argue otherwise, but I, I believe very strongly that the ultimate source of inspiration is God um, and just God's creation, just, you know. The moon, the stars, the birds, the bees, people and their eccentricities, just the different things that make us who we are, inspire art in general. Um, so I'm inspired by the things around me. Um, motion inspires me a lot, so I like to pace my room. I like to be in a moving vehicle or a train or you know, mid-flight, you know, on a plane or whatever. I find that I'm inspired when I'm in these places. I like to get up in the morning and um, just toss and turn. And, you know, allow myself to be inspired. This, this is a, there's something about, you know, the morning that you find inspiring. Um. I'm swimming against the current, swimming against the current. I think I need you, I need you. My journey as a musician has been interesting. Um, it has come with its own share of challenges. I think one of them, you know, was really just trying to prove, you know, like I said, that I could do the things I said I could do. You know, it, people just, you, you're met with a bit of skepticism where people are like, ah, this one, he's young and then he can't see and then, you know, how is he going to? And it's, it's just that fear generally for a lot of people. Um, I, another challenge I find is, you know, having dreams that, you know, you can't actualize because, you know, you don't, you don't have the support, you know, you just having to work with what you have, like, you know, studios and equipment and all that it was it was it was a bit of a struggle trying to just set up my own studio my own place but then I get I got signed I got signed to Sony ATV as a songwriter and I literally just took like all the money that you know I made from that and then just set up a studio and that was really exciting but you know coming to that part like I, it, it was just a, it was tough I had to hold on to my dream and there were days where you know you just you wonder like you know what the value of this dream is like is it going to end in your head you know, there are days where you know you you hold on not necessarily because there's anything to hold on to but just because you believe like there's literally you lost you you lose the road map you're just you just you just keep moving you just keep some days you just wake up and you're just moving you know you ask yourself why am i doing this you know where is it leading and you know you just have that hunch that feeling that you know it's going to take you somewhere ultimately and sometimes that's all you have to hold on to and nothing more. <laughs>